Hello my lovelies, it's Olga here. I missed you. I hope all of you had an amazing winter break, had a lot of fun and went back to school or work or whatever you're doing all refreshed with a new mindset and hopefully with some new New Year's resolution. I had a great time over the break. I spent a lot of time with my family and made tons and tons of yummy food. And one of the recipes that I kept on making over and over again, I'm going to show you today. So today we'll be making a vegan version of the creamy cauliflower soup. And you know in Toronto right now, it's the perfect soup weather. Whether it's negative 30 outside or it's raining and it's gloomy, all you wanna do is stay at home and eat soup. This soup is ideal for a Saturday or a Sunday lunch, but since it's very quick to make, it takes about half an hour, you can also make it for your lunches during the week. I absolutely love this soup because of the creamy and smooth texture it has, and we're also gonna spice it up with some exciting seasoning. Can't wait for you guys to give it a taste, so let's get started. We're going to start by chopping two medium onions, just like this. Chop, chop, chop. Next, grab your cauliflower. I already washed and dried mine. Cut it into florets of approximately this size. Cauliflower is one of those vegetables you want to be eating on a regular basis. It's extremely nutritious, full of antioxidants, helps to prevent numerous diseases and to detoxify your body. Alright, so let's heat 2 tablespoons of coconut oil in a large pot. Add the onions and cook over medium heat for about 3-4 to four minutes. Then add another tablespoon of the oil and your cauliflower florets. Stir well. To season our soup, we're going to use some curry. Did you know that the words curry and curry powder are actually Western inventions and do not represent any specific South Asian spice mixtures? Most of the time, curry powder recipes include coriander, turmeric, chili peppers, cinnamon, and ginger. No wonder it makes your food so yummy. We're also going to use just a tiny bit of saffron. If you don't have it or can't find it in the store, don't worry too much about it. So let's add our curry powder, saffron, and season the cauliflower with salt and pepper. Give it a good stir and prepare to use your nose. Why? Because the smell is going to be amazing! Let the cauliflower cook like this for a few minutes. Then cover the pot and cook for another 5 minutes. Don't forget that you can find the printable version of this recipe with exact measurements and directions on my website at fablunch.com. While our cauliflower is cooking, we're going to take a small pot and heat up about 350 milliliters of vegetable stock. After 10 minutes, pour the vegetable stock and bring to a simmer. Then add coconut milk. Make sure that the liquid covers all of the cauliflower, and if it doesn't, simply add some water. Return the soup to a simmer and partially cover the pot. We're going to cook it like this for another 10 minutes. At this point, the cauliflower should be very soft and we're ready to puree the soup. You can use a handheld blender for this. I'm just going to use a regular blender and blend the soup in batches. Return to the pot and our soup is ready to be served. When I serve it at home, I like to put some green onions on top. And if I want to take it with me for lunch, I usually pour it in this thermos container. As a snack, I will bring with me a banana and my homemade vegan oatmeal cookies. If you haven't seen the video for these cookies, the link for it will be in the description box and at the end of this video. And of course, don't forget to bring your water. I always like to flavor my water with fruits to make it a little more exciting. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below for my healthy lunch and snack ideas. And speaking of the New Year's resolutions, I made some this year and my number one resolution, the most important one, is to be more consistent with everything in life, with clean eating, with exercising, and most importantly with YouTube. So some of you will be happy to know that I made an official uploading schedule for myself and will now be uploading videos on Tuesdays, Fridays, and Sundays. Tuesdays and Sundays will be recipe days, that's when I will show you a new recipe, and on Friday there will be a talking video of some sort. I'm really excited but also really scared at the same time because you guys might not know this but I do everything myself. I film and edit all of my videos and sometimes it could take me up to two to three days of work to just finish one video. So it's a lot of work but I am determined to make it happen and I already pre-filmed some videos to help myself get started so wish me luck. And now since you guys know about this, you can also hold me accountable and if there's no video, you can send me angry messages saying, where is the video, Olga? Yeah. 
So please let me know if you made any New Year's resolution this year in the comment section down below and we can also hold each other responsible for them and i hope all of you are having a beautiful day i will see you on friday bye hey guys it's always here i can't believe it's already December. time has been flying by